welcome back to our channel so for today's video it's going to be another nursing vlog i am going to vlog my license endorsement to california this is nurse lee and we have baby tally here so she will be roaming around while i'm vlogging so um i will do a step-by-step -step vlog on how did i endorse my license to California. So if you are interested, then keep on watching. So I appreciate all of you who voted. Just a quick background. Graduated nursing in the Philippines and my initial license is from Northern Mariana Islands. I will concentrate on the application process for international graduates or foreign graduates like me. The California BON um, actually has a step-by-step -step process or they have a walkthrough process just online. Um, that you can check in order for you to understand on how to endorse your license. But in this video, I'm just going to highlight um, the things that I did or the things that are applicable on my situation. Okay, first, how much is the price or how much is the license endorsement? So I will post the price for the graduates here in the US and for me I paid $799 as a foreign graduate so that includes the fingerprint cards um, that will be sent to DOJ okay the qualifications is you must have an active RN license um, in the US US territory Canada and you must be an NCLEX passer second requirement is that you completed all of the educational requirements uh, or the educational program that meet their um, requirements. <laughs> they might ask you to take some units, MSOB units, some um, things like that wherein you, um, you would be required to study, to gain additional units, and that will be marked as a deficiency. So the BON recommends, you, they highly recommend you to apply via online but there are still times that you need to mail in paperwork to them. You're going to, to pay uh, via credit card. So the first step is to set up a Breeze account. Once you're set up uh, with your uh, Breeze account, you'll be able to see um, this and you just need to hit on license um, endorsement to go at www.breeze.ca.gov if you're a graduate here in the u.s um the cost is just going to be around 349 dollars and then um if you would like to request a temporary um license that it's also possible it's additional 100 dollars but you need to do the endorsement first before you can request for a temporary license. So I started my application December 11, 2019. So I completed the online application and at the end of your application, you can attach the needed documents. So these are the parts that um, you will see online. Application questions, uh, education history, your out-of-state um, license information, questions, uh, file attachments, and then you will see your application summary. And at the end of your application, you can attach the needed documents. They will be asking you to upload a 2x2 two two photo. Hi! <laughs> Holly. So once you're done setting up your Breeze account and um, paying for your endorsement via credit card and uploading the necessary um, documents, you just need to wait. So it's going to be a waiting game after that. Um, you just need uh, for them to acknowledge and respond to your application. So normally the timeline for that is around 10 to 12 weeks. 
um, they have a website where you can check the timeline um, if for example um, like me I passed my application December 2019 so you will be able to see if they are actually processing the application for that time period um, you they have around 10 to 12 weeks if um, you meet all of the requirements that they need so forgive me if we have baby roaming around. I know that it's it's a little um, distracting, but I think it would be helpful so that the video won't be as boring as it is. Okay. Also, a requirement uh, for the fingerprint cards. Um, for those who are in California or those who are a uh, resident in California. Um, live scan for the fingerprinting which is much much easier because they just need to go to a live scan site and it's much faster compared to the or the fingerprint card it will take a while before they would forward it to the board of nursing they responded to my application january so january i was able to see the deficiencies already um, online January 21st 2020 on this letter I am showing the things that are required uh, from me uh, from my school and items that I need to send to them via mail I receive already a fingerprint card from them uh, via mail um, so I just went to the nearest police station or you can go to the nearest courthouse on your area to complete your fingerprint once you're done um, you can go ahead and mail it to the board of nursing this letter that they sent to you via mail you will see who is your um, analyst and you will know on where you need to mail those requirements the verification of license is also a requirement my initial license is through Northern Mariana Islands. Um, I need to mail in a hard copy of the verification of license form to them um, together with the money order so that they will process the verification of license and they will forward it to the California Board of Nursing. I'll post the actual letter that I mailed in to the NMI Board of Nursing. And then for the rest of my license, which is during that time, I have North Dakota and the Connecticut license. Uh, so I just paid through, through the nurses.com. They can electronically endorse, electronically send the verification of my license through California Board of Nursing for just $30. So on this letter, um, it's included the entity number, which matches the entity number that I have online. And it shows that the items that they're requiring directly from my nursing school are um, the nursing transcript. And also, since I am a foreign graduate, um, they are requiring a breakdown of educational program for international nursing programs. If you have CGFNS, they are accepting credentials coming from the CGFNS. I know you are all familiar with the CGFNS, so that is also possible. But what I did, um, I still transact with the school since they are requiring the educational breakdown forms. I had a representative, an authorized representative who went to my school, which is Chinese Gen. I'm a alumni of Chinese Gen. Um, it shows here that transcript, educational breakdown form, RLE, and a complete record of your clinical cases. That includes your OB um, cases, which are assisted and actual deliveries. It's specified here, um, including the core dressing. It must reflect the exact dates, locations, the procedures. Ho ho! Here, ho ho! Must reflect also 
the instructor's signature. It's also required for you to forward your major and minor um, surgeries. There's the OR procedures that we had during our college. So it's very specific here that they are needing the exact date, location, procedures, and then the instructor's signatures. And also, they are requesting for academic calendar. Again, they wanted the exact date for each semester, including all holidays and all breaks beginning um, from the beginning and end. I'll post a photo here. And um, the items that that I need to provide as their applicant are uh, endorsement identification form, including the photograph of two by two, uh, my fingerprint card, um, the fingerprint processing fee. This is not included anymore because this is included on the seven hundred ninety nine dollars that I paid and a copy of your passport for the entire school time frame. In my case, I didn't have a passport during uh, my college days. I believe I had it 2008 already. So I just um, affixed the letter explaining the reason why I don't have a passport during that time. So I just um, informed them that I don't have any plans of traveling during that time. That's why I did not obtain a passport. So I affixed a letter explaining the reason um, why. So it's very clear here that if they did, do not receive the a response um, of these items listed within one year, the application would be considered abandoned. Remember, I received this January 21st, 20. 20. I actually uh, failed to respond immediately. So I neglected the application for about 11 months because oh, no. of the pregnancy and a lot has happened and then we relocated here in Texas. My deadline is January 21st, 2021. So January 4, 2021. I mailed in all of the documents um, needed and I also um, coordinated with my school uh, for them to forward all of the requested documents um, including the transcript, um, all of the requested documents um, from them. I paid and then um, I believe they mailed it out within two weeks time. I was worrying if they would be able to receive it on time on or before the deadline. So I just affixed another letter um, addressing to my analyst um, explaining the reason for my delay with all of the things that's happening because of the pandemic. But some valid reasons, some including on what happened, on what caused the delay of my application, and then I tried to ask for a little extension. So around January 4, 2021, I was able to submit all of those um, paperwork fix that letter come february when i checked on the on my visa account around february so i tried to check it and then there i was able to see that they already approved my license so i got the license february 12 2021 will expire april 30 2022 if you are going to look at the timeline i applied december 2019 and then they responded january 21st 2020 and then i was not able to submit the required documents right away um i submitted it around january um and then february they were able to release the license Ali, don't do that. I didn't have any deficiencies. Um, like, um, they did not require me to take some units for uh, MS or OB. Um, 
So that actually means that my school, Chinese Gen Hospital, is meeting their requirements for the educational program. So for all of you that are from the same school, uh, most probably you won't have any deficiencies um, like me. Our cases um, way back, including the OB and OR cases, Everything is very detailed. It's a very strict school as well. So alam nyo yan mga taga Chinese gen. If you are going to summarize all of those things is you need to set up an online application, pay the processing fee, uh, which is $7.99 for international graduates, uh, fingerprint cards are uh, required and uh, verification of license uh, for the main uh, on where you actually took the examination um, you need to mail them the verification of license form and for the rest of the states that you're on um, you just need to go to the nurses.com and process the endorsement and pay $30. Since the board of nursing already re replied to your application they will post all of the deficiencies or all of the requirements that they are needing from your school and from you uh, which we just tackled a while ago and if you are wanting to know the timeline um, they, uh, they have a website on where you can specifically check it um, if you have any concerns or questions you can always call them or you can email your analyst just like what I did uh, before because I tried to follow up if they're needing anything else from me and then she um, replied in, a, in just like a, um, in a few days she replied and I didn't have any deficiencies that's why they released their license February 2021 so if you're going to look at it, um, the timeline for me, it's not um, really that long. It's just um, there is a delay on my part because I did not process it right away. And it will affect your application if you did not comply with the requirements um, written here. It will delay your application. But right after I passed all of the requirements January, within a month, they gave me the license. And I did not request for a temporary license. So for the TOEFL, um, that would be required if you are from a non-English speaking country. But uh, for me, from the Philippines, uh, it's an English speaking school. So um, they did not require me to submit that um, requirement. Uh, I am not required to um, take TOEFL for the English. I think that is just it um, on what I actually did for the license endorsement. If you have any questions for me, feel free to comment it down below. hope I was able to share with you some highlights of the application on what are the requirements. And there is actually a group of uh, of nurses who endorse to um, California they have a Facebook uh, page that can help you guys if you have any other questions um, because on my part I did not experience any delay uh, but if you have any specific question I think that group is very helpful if it's taking so long and you're worrying with your application um, you can post on that group but Still, the best is to call the Board of Nursing and to get in touch with your analyst if you have any concern. Uh, before, when I have any questions or concerns, I try to email the analyst, the other analyst. Um, I try not to email my actual analyst. Um, but they did not respond to my questions but when I emailed my actual analyst that was the time that I got a response so there I think that was pretty much it for the application if you have any questions or suggestions feel free to comment it down below um, so as promised I'm going to do a video on how I did the endorsement for the North Dakota and for the Texas why did I endorse it to California? Because 
I was planning to apply as a case manager which is based in California a remote job and I was able to have a job offer but unfortunately I did not accept it so that was um, really my plan and we have plans of relocating as well to uh, before but now it's not our priority so I hope I was able to help you with this video and please do share this video to other nurses who can benefit with this please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll get notified if we have new videos or new uploads please like share and comment this video thank you so much guys i hope you all um, stay safe and god bless everyone bye thank you for staying with us on this vlog with baby sally thank you so much guys god bless I have a lot. There's so much now.